closing down your eyes. Taking a few moments just to check in with how you're feeling this morning and what's going on for you this morning. Tapping into your natural breath. Are you breathing deeply into your chest or into your belly? <clears throat> and inviting a sense of going inward today, just inviting yourself to reflect inwardly. Just take this hour this morning to offer yourself a little bit of, of care and attention. So to have this hour out, your own sacred hour just for you. Connecting to your breath. And taking these few moments to check in with how you're feeling physically. How do you feel mentally this morning? How do you feel emotionally this morning? Without any judgment, just being truthful with yourself. And allowing that response to be what it is. Maybe starting to deepen your breath a little bit. Feeling that with that breath being a little bit deeper, you can find more length in your spine. Letting go of anything that is on your to-do list today. And inviting yourself to take a, almost like taking a little holiday to go inside. If you have a different intention that you would like to have for the next hour, focusing on your own intention. Otherwise, joining me to let go of your to-do list and take a holiday by going inwardly, going inside. Being able to turn inwards, see your own truth and how you're feeling today and just be totally cool with that and allow it to, to be what it is today. Once you found that settling with your breath, and then start waking up your belly with a little bit of Kapalabhati breathing. So either resting your hands on your belly, or if you feel okay that you've got that connection in your diaphragm, resting your hands so your palms are facing up. Whichever is the, the right one for you today, wherever your truth is today, it's totally cool to stay with it. So we're going to try and go just maybe for a minute. So if you wanted to break that up and stop and start again, that's totally okay. Softening your gaze. So you're breathing through your nose, sharply trying to expel the air, connecting to your diaphragm. Okay, here we go.
Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhaling through your mouth. Taking an on together, breathing in. Feeling that sound of the OM join us all together and resonate through your body. And whenever you feel ready to open your eyes, opening your eyes, moving into downward dog. Spreading your palms, finding where your own truth is in your downward dog. So maybe your knees are bent this morning to start with. Maybe you're walking your heels up and down. Finding the length of your spine. And inviting your ujjayi breath in. So relaxing your head, relaxing your neck. Maybe softening your gaze or looking inwardly. Allowing your practice just to be for you. You're at home, you're in your own space. You can be with your own your own true self. And enjoy that sensation of taking a little holiday from what's going on and allowing everything to draw inwards. We're going to have two more breaths in your downward dog, spreading your fingers. Finding that connection to your belly where you open it up with that breath. And moving into a forward fold, looking towards your hands, step or hop, feet in between your hands, and allowing your head to hang, your arms to be nice and soft. If you wanted to bring your hands either side of your feet, you can. And if at the moment it's bent knees, whichever is the right forward fold for you, this is your practice your own truth, however you feel this morning. Mm. You have five more breaths. Feeling that lengthening of your spine, allowing your gaze to be where it feels right for you today, either on the end of your nose or maybe closing down your eyes. Feeling that lengthening in the back of your legs, in the back of your head, back of your neck. So I'm going to have two more breaths. One more breath and then preparing to come into a squat. Just adjust your feet so your toes turn out, heels turn in. Okay, your comfortable squat this morning. Maybe palms together, maybe your hands are on the floor for you. Two, four, super fine and length in your spine. And having that moment of either closing down your eyes to go inwards or focusing on the end of your nose. Just five more breaths. Finding steadiness in your breath. Checking out any conversation that your body is starting to have with you this morning. What is it that is starting to chat to you while we're here? Three more breaths. Supervise two more breaths. Cultivating that lovely smooth energy of your ujjayi breath. Releasing back to your forward fold. 
hands down, sit bones up, gently bring your feet back so you're into a relaxed forward fold. Arms just dangling. And then as you breathe in, take your arms out and up, come all the way up to stand, breathing in, reaching up. Palms together, looking at your hands, interlocking your fingers, exhaling, hands behind your head. Soft knees, inhaling, lifting your heart up. As you breathe out, we're going to bring your elbows together, rounding a little bit, chin in. One, having a pause to breathe in. Breathing out, rounding a little bit more. Two, so just gently rounding your spine, pausing as you breathe in. Breathing out, gently rounding. With every exhale, feeling that encouragement to just go inwards a little bit more. Every time you breathe out, folding a little bit more. Awesome, guys. So we're almost coming into a full forward fold. Having the last breath out, squeezing down a little bit more. And then with your inhale, come all the way back up. Opening out your elbows and breathing out, lift your heart. Inhaling, coming back up to upright. Exhaling, release your hands, arms by your sides. Awesome guys, poking your thumbs. Inhaling, reaching up, lifting through your chest, looking up. If you're breathing out, we're going to bend your knees, fold forwards, arms up. Inhaling, hands to the floor, lifting your chest, looking up. Breathing out, taking your right foot back into a lunge. Inhaling, moving into downward dog. Exhaling, plank, and lower down, chaturanga. Inhaling, lifting your chest, looking up. Exhaling, downward dog. Inhaling, falling to plank, and lower down, knees, heart down. Inhaling, upward dog, or cobra. Exhaling, downward dog. Relaxing your head here, spreading through your fingers. Checking in in this familiar pose and just allowing that sensation of going inwards. Finding as if this is your, your home pose. So as you come into Downward Dog, you can feel totally at ease and comfortable. One more nice deep breath. And looking forwards, bringing your right foot into that lunge, looking up, breathing out, feet together to fold. Inhaling, coming up to stand, reaching your arms, hook your thumbs, breathing out, leaning back. Inhaling, folding, reaching your arms up, head down, hands to the floor, looking up, breathing in. Exhaling, left foot, stepping back into that lunge. Inhaling, downward dog. Exhaling, shift the plank, lower down. Inhaling, upward dog. Exhaling, downward dog. Inhaling to plank and knees, heart down. Lifting your chest, looking up. Exhaling, downward dog. Keep finding that home place again in your downward dog. Spreading your fingers. Gazing inwards, either looking into that third eye space. Closing down your eyes. Checking in with any sensations in your body. Maybe sending your sit bones up a little bit higher, looking for a little bit more length in your spine. 
Last breath here. And looking forwards, bringing your left foot forwards, lift your chest, look up. Exhaling, feet together, folding. Inhaling, standing up, reaching up. Exhaling, having a little lean back. Inhaling. Exhaling to fold, maybe interlock your fingers, head down. Hands to the floor, lifting through your heart, looking up. And right foot, stepping it back into a lunge. Inhaling, downward dog. Exhaling, shifting to plank and lower, chaturanga. Inhaling, upward dog, looking up. Exhaling, downward dog. Inhaling, shifting to plank, lower knees, heart down. Lifting through your chest, inhaling. Exhaling, downward dog. Finding that familiar home space, allowing your attention to go inwards. Using your ujjayi breath as you breathe, maybe softening your gaze or closing your eyes. Feel as if you could just shut down everything that's outside, closing down from external sounds or any distractions and allowing you to have this lovely, sacred, quiet time. Last breath. And looking forward to right foot forward, lifting your heart, looking up. Exhaling, feet together, folding. Inhaling, rising up, reaching up. Exhaling, leaning back. Inhaling, coming up right. Exhaling, bend your knees, hook your fingers as you fold. Inhaling, hands to the floor, lift your chest, look up. Left foot, stepping it back. And then stepping into downward dog, breathing in. Exhaling to plank, chaturanga. Inhaling, upward dog. Exhaling, downward dog. Inhaling to plank. Lowering down, knees, chest and chin. Inhaling, upward dog or cobra. Exhaling, downward dog. Finding that ujjayi breath. Focusing on being steady with your breath. Super guys, checking in with that spine. Seeing if you can find a little bit more length. Is it a day when you're paddling your heels up and down? Looking forwards, taking your left foot forwards, lifting your heart, looking up. Exhaling, feet together, folding. Inhaling, rising up, reaching up. Hooking your thumbs, leaning back. Arms down by your side, just coming up to stands if we're in Samastiti. Awesome, inhaling, reaching up. Exhaling, arms out, folding forwards. Inhaling, lift your chest, looking up. Exhaling, your choice to move back. You can step or hop into plank, lower down, chaturanga. Inhaling, upward dog. Exhaling, downward dog. Right leg to the sky, reaching up, breathing in. Exhaling, right foot in between your hands, warrior one, rising up. Opening out to warrior two, breathing out. Inhaling, straightening out your front leg. Exhaling to trikonasana, reaching over that foot. Taking one hand down, one hand up. If it's a day to grab hold of your toe, your big toe, burn for that big toe. No, you totally don't have to. 
Finding length through your body. So one more nice deep breath. Bringing yourself back into warrior two, bend your right knee, open out your arms. Coming into a lunge, forearm resting on that right thigh. Awesome, finding length through your body. Drawing your belly in. One more breath. And changing your hands down to a lunge, both hands down either side of that right foot, lifting through your heart, looking up. Squaring off your hips. Finding that lovely pace of your ujjayi breath. Getting steady to take a little bit of weight onto that right foot so we can come into pyramid pose, Padmasana. So taking the weight, hopping your left foot in so it just comes halfway in. Maybe your hands are onto your waist. Maybe they're staying on the floor. Relaxing your head down. For three, two, your choice with the hands. Ooh, last breath. If your hands are on your waist, releasing them back down to the floor, moving the weight back onto your front foot, lift up the left foot and set your left knee down to come into Anjanayas and then left knee down. Inhaling, arms out, reaching out. Oh, super guys, bring your palms together, come across for a twist, left elbow twisting across. Nice, leaning into it. Maybe this is your first twist of the day, be a little bit gentle if it is. Three, tucking your back toes under, just preparing to come up so that you don't have to do anything just yet. Just getting set with your back toes. And whenever you feel steady, drawing a little bit of engagement into your belly, lift your back knee up. Nice, take your time, take your time. And whenever you feel ready, open it out into warrior two, opening out, coming up. Super breath in. Exhaling, both hands coming down to the floor, squaring off your hips, standing split, taking the weight onto your front foot, onto that right foot. You can either take that back leg up higher or just leave it halfway in a sort of T position. Have a nice deep breath in. We're going to come down into a seated position, bringing that left knee so it lands, so we come into a, a half Lord of the Fishes twist. So as you breathe out, bringing that left knee so it lands on the outside edge of your right foot. Awesome, coming in for that second twist on the same side, left arm reaches up. Exhaling, coming across. And lengthening through your spine. Listening to how your body is this morning. Almost as if you're having a time where you can fine tune how your breath is this morning. Listening to your body. Last breath. And releasing that twist for a little counter twist. As you release it, bring both hands to the opposite side. Bend your elbows. Inhaling, coming back up. So we're gonna bring ourselves into a cross leg position or fire log. So seeing if that right shin will stack on top of the left shin. If not, normal cross legs, right one on top. Taking a moment to Lift your chest and then as you breathe out, walking your hands forwards. Awesome. So if you are in that, that final, that stacked position of your shins, it's going to be a little bit into your hip. 
bowing down. I'm just reaching my arms out to the side so you can see where my feet are, but if you can, taking your arms in front. Awesome, guys. Breathing, so press down into your hips too. Last breath. And then we're gonna rock forwards, come onto your hands, releasing your feet, tucking your toes, downward dog. Option to stay here in downward dog or take a vinyasa, or whatever your choice this morning, knees, chest, chin, or maybe shifting to plank, lowering through chaturanga, inhaling, lifting your chest, exhaling, downward dog. Coming back into that home space of downward dog. Finding your weight distribution. Feeling as if this is your place of home where you can just return, go inwards, be nice and safe. And then taking your left leg up, three legged dog. Exhaling, left foot in between your hands. Warrior one, rising up. Breathing out, opening out to warrior two, extending your arms, drawing your belly in. Inhaling, straightening out your left leg. Exhaling, reaching over the left. Maybe your fingers are coming down, maybe your hand is on your shin. Take a few moments to Feel into this position of Trikonasana. Lengthening where you can. Mm. Breathing into that back of that left leg. And preparing for your next breath in to come into Warrior 2. Inhaling, Warrior 2. Exhaling, resting your forearm down. Reaching your right arm over your head, coming in for that lunge. Lengthening through the right side of your body. Staying with that focus on your ujjayi breath so you can feel steady as if you have this constant flow that's staying with you. One more nice deep breath. And releasing into warrior two. Exhaling, both hands coming down to the floor. Squaring off your hips. Stepping into that pyramid pose, taking the weight onto your left foot. Bringing the right one halfway in. Maybe your hands move to your waist, maybe they stay on the floor. Lifting through your heart and then folding. Finding the steadiness of your breath. Three. Two. Last breath. If your hands are on your waist, releasing them down to the floor, taking the weight back onto that left foot, lifting up your back leg, your right leg, and bringing it down to settle into Anjaneyasana, so dropping your right knee down. Inhaling, arms up, reaching up. Exhaling for a twist, pray hands together, bringing that right elbow across. Checking out how that twist feels on this side, finding length in your spine. Breathing, lengthening through that back. Having a steady breath. Preparing that back foot, tucking your toes under. And then lifting your back knee up. So you're staying in this twist, but a little bit higher up. On your next breath in, moving out into warrior two. 
Exhaling, windmill both hands down to the floor. Standing splits, extending your right leg up. Exhaling, inviting that right knee to come down to the floor. So that right knee is going to land on the outside edge of your left foot. Coming into that Lord of the Fishes, right arm up. Exhaling, bringing it across. Inhaling, let's get long through your spine. And then looking all over your left shoulder. Settling that breath. Awesome, guys. Checking in with how this feels compared to the other side. Inviting this sensation of going inwards. So closing down your eyes or looking at the end of your nose. Last breath. As you release, come into a counter twist, both hands. Reaching to the other side, bending your elbows. Coming back to centre for fire dog or cross legs. So your left shin is on top or your left shin is in front. Getting nice and long, pressing your sit bones down into the floor and then folding forwards. Using your ujjayi breath. Allowing yourself to go inwards, softening your gaze to the end of your nose or closing down your eyes. Breathing steady. Four. Three. Pushing your sit bones back if you can. Hmm. Last breath. Walking your hands back up from that fire dog position or cross legs, moving forwards. Taking your feet back into downward dog. Spreading through your fingers, relaxing your head down. Feeling that home base coming back. Your choice of vinyasa or to stay where you are. Shifting to plank, lower down. Inhaling, lifting your heart, looking up. Exhaling, downward dog. Moving your shoulder blades apart, getting steady with that pace of your breath. Being right toes to the sky, reaching them up, three-legged dog. Exhaling, right foot in between your hands. Warrior one, rising up, breathing in. Breathing out, warrior two. Inhaling, straightening your right leg. Exhaling, reaching for Trikonasana. Inhale, warrior two. Exhaling, both hands coming down to the floor. Standing splits. Inhaling, weight onto your right foot, left leg up. Exhaling, head down, just trying to get a little bit deeper in. One more breath. Head maybe lower towards your shin. And slowly coming down with that left knee, coming back down. We're just going to hover it this time, so maybe hovering above the floor so the foot doesn't touch. And then inhaling, guiding it up, standing splits. Exhaling, bringing it down to hover. Inhaling, reaching it up, standing splits. This time coming down to land, gently coming down. Planting your knee, planting your knee. Awesome. Same twist, left arm up, reaching up. Exhaling, coming across. Lifting through your chest. See if you can move a little bit further around. If it feels like there's more movement and you wanted to go for a bind today, extend the left arm out and you can reach through that space underneath your legs to grab your hands behind. Getting along in your spine.
last breath. And then releasing for a counter twist, taking your arms out, arms to the other side, find your palms, bend your elbows. Inhaling, come into the center, release your feet into Buddha Konasana. Inhaling, lifting your heart. Peace fingers around your big toes. Exhaling, folding forwards. Inhaling, lifting your chest, looking up. And then taking hold of those big toes, moving your feet apart. Awesome, just lifting your spine here. And we're going to gently sit back, maybe lifting your feet up. Maybe keeping them bent. Okay, take your time. So feeling your truth today, allowing yourself to go inwards. You can stay balanced here. If today feels like a straight leg day, cool, go for it. If not, stay in with those bent knees, finding the balance on your sit bones. Awesome, finding that lovely pace of your ujjayi breath. Three, taking a few moments to maybe soften your gaze, close down your eyes. Taking your time, going nice and slowly, returning back to our start position where your feet are still hovering, bending your knees. So when we're gonna reach underneath, so you have one hand underneath each one. Also bringing your first finger and thumb together, encouraging the heels of your feet to come together, maybe even like holding on to your toes, to fan your toes apart. Super long in your spine. Two. Last breath. And we're gonna try and return your feet down, but keeping your arms underneath. Yeah, lovely guys. And then reaching your arms back. Hmm. Okay, leaving your right arm underneath. Lift your left arm out, extend it up towards the sky. And then wrapping around that right leg, and leaning out as much as you can. So lifting the left side of your chest up towards the ceiling. Nice, nice, lovely guys. And releasing. Come back to the center, thread that left arm underneath. Take your right arm out, reach your right arm up. Exhaling to wrap it around your left leg. Opening out your chest, looking up towards the ceiling. So one more nice deep breath, opening as much as you can. And the next time you release your breath, bringing that right arm back to thread underneath your right knee. Lifting up through your toes. Okay, offering yourself that chance to go inward so your feet are a little bit apart. Closing down your eyes or focusing on the end of your nose. Or draw your shoulder blades down your back. Keep moving your shoulder blades down and in this sort of most inward pose, a tortoise pose, dropping your head down maybe. not going to be for too long guys. Breathing, allowing that ujjayi breath to help you draw in. Two. Last breath. As you breathe in, bend your knees, release to come up. Cross your shins, breathing out, reaching your hands forwards. Tuck your toes, downward dog, breathing in, lifting up. 
Stay where you are or taking the vinyasa, lifting forwards into plank, lower down, chaturanga. Inhaling, lift your heart, looking up. Exhaling, downward dog. Left leg up, three legged dog. Exhaling, left foot in between your hands, warrior one, rising up, breathing in. Exhaling, warrior two, opening out. Inhaling, straightening your left leg. Exhaling, reaching to come down towards that toe. Or your shin doesn't have to necessarily be the toe. Lengthening through that body. Finding length in your spine. Inhaling, warrior two. Exhaling, windmill both hands down to the floor. Standing splits. Taking your weight onto the left leg, lifting up the right. Head down. Extending that right leg up as much as you can. Coming in for three curtsies, okay? So breathing in. As you breathe out, guiding your right leg so it hovers. Inhaling, up and back. Exhaling, guiding it down to hover. Inhaling, up and back. Exhaling, guiding it down to hover and then landing. Awesome. Coming in for that twist, right arm up. Exhaling to reach across. Looking over that left shoulder, checking out how this second time twist feels. Giving yourself that chance to just go inwards, really feeling into your own practice. If you went for that bind on the other side, considering the bind on this side, so you're rotating your arm, reaching through that gap underneath your knee. Two. Hmm. So having your last breath. And releasing it into a counter twist, taking both hands to the other side. Inhaling. As you undo that twist, plant your feet down, move into a squat position, hands coming forwards. Planting your palms here, choosing to stay in a squat, or come into crow pose. So Arms connected to the floor, your choice, whatever it feels like today. But trusting your own journey. You're at home, you've got carpet and everything. It's a perfect place to just have a little go if you're not up there yet. So you're having your knees resting into your armpits, taking your gaze forwards. And just playing with that potential of lifting one foot, maybe two feet. Nice, nice, awesome guys. And then gently coming down. Awesome, finding your way all the way back. So if you can use your weight, so you gently bring your sit bones back. So extending your legs out, lifting through your chest. You can go for bent knees if it feels like a bent knee day today. Exhaling, reaching forwards for five. Four, three, two, hmm. last breath, inhaling, walking your hands back up, sitting back, taking the weight onto your sit bone, crossing your shins, rocking forwards to your hands, Tuck your toes, downward dog, breathing in. Staying here, we'll vinyasa, breathe out, plank, lower down. Inhaling, lift your heart, looking up. Exhaling, downward dog, staying here, breathing in. Coming down onto your belly, knees. Heart down. Hands either side of your chest, inhaling, lifting up. Exhale, lower down onto your belly. Release your arms either side of your body. 
Coming into Salabhasana Lotus, drawing your belly in, fixing your gaze, end of your nose or in between your eyes. Where does it feel like you can take the most inward journey today? And then as you breathe in, lifting your arms, lifting your legs, focusing your attention inwards for three, two, one more breath and lower down relax your head turn your gaze to one side softening your gaze allowing everything to be a little bit fuzzy or closing down your eyes and feeling this this home space this chance where you're totally at peace you're just here in your own sacred space Allowing this precious hour of time to be just for you, where you can turn inwards. Taking a holiday from anything that's on your list of things today. I'm going to come in for Danyarasana, bow pose. So as you breathe in, bend your knees, reach for your feet. If your feet are a little bit far away today, then it's totally cool if you wanted to do the same pose to come into Salabhasana, otherwise holding on to your feet or your ankles. Keep preparing as if we're just going to go inwards, just you at home, so focusing on the end of your nose and then lifting up. So your ankles or your feet, whatever you've got hold of, are lifting up your chest, drawing your shoulder blades in, allowing your focus to be on the end of your nose. If you're in a, like a non-hard floor space, enjoying that luxury of having softness underneath your hips. Lifting, breathing. You've got one more breath. And slowly lower down. Releasing your arms, releasing your feet. Turn your head opposite direction to where you have it. Bring your big toes to touch and your heels to drop out to the side. Maybe placing both hands, back to your hands, onto your sacrum area. And as you breathe in, feel that sacrum area fill up. Exhaling with a sigh. Now release your arms, tuck your toes under, and lift your kneecaps up. Push your heels away so you're straightening out. And having the same breath, breathing in. Exhaling with a sigh, releasing your feet. Hmm. Hands either side of your chest, inhaling on, onto all fours. Just for a breath, exhaling to child's pose, keep your toes tucked under. Inhaling, downward dog. Taking a vinyasa or staying where you are. Exhaling, plank, lower down. Inhaling, heart up, looking up. Exhaling, downward dog. Finding the length in your the back of your neck. We're going to come into dolphin or headstand. So gently moving down onto all fours. Bringing your forearms down. Okay, remembering that this is your own journey. If today, if you have a wall space handy and you want to use a wall, it's totally okay. If you wanted to practice coming into a headstand, interlocking your fingers, having that little finger just tucked under. If you're practicing a headstand, obviously your head is on the floor, walking your feet in, and just seeing if your feet will lift. If you're not practicing headstand and you're in dolphin today, then keeping your head off of the floor so that your neck can just be nice and free and relaxed. If you're in that dolphin position, playing with one leg up, so you're extending one leg up. Three. Two. Remember, it's your practice and it's your truth, so whatever feels like the right thing for you to do today. Swapping your straight leg. If you're in dolphin, changing legs. 
And then, oh, lovely, awesome, Natalie. Gently coming down. Just slowly bringing yourself down. Come down into child's pose. So sit bones towards your heels. And then today, interlock your fingers. Send your elbows forward and just reach your hands so they're behind the back of your neck. And maybe you can give your neck a little bit of a squeeze, a little bit of a rub. Releasing your hands down. And choosing to either, you can come onto your back, uh, just sit up, swing your legs around, come onto your back, or taking a vinyasa. Move up to all fours, downward dog, shifting forwards to plank, lower down, inhaling, upward dog, exhaling, downward dog, coming through to the seated position, to lay down, coming on to your back, hmm. bringing your knees in, having a little rock from side to side. Hmm. And taking a twist of your choice, as we've had like a couple of deep twists, if you did want to go eagle legs twist, that's totally okay today. If you wanted to go for cat's got its tail twist, that might be nice. So I'm going to go for that cat's got its tail twist. So extending my left leg out, bringing my right knee in towards your chest, bringing that right knee across. Keep hold of that right knee. Bend your left knee underneath you, reaching for that left foot with your right hand. And then depending on how your hamstrings feel today, maybe you want to take hold of your right foot and extend your right leg out, or maybe keep that knee bent. Once you're here, turn your gaze, looking in the opposite direction to your twist. Three. Breathing into it, softening your gaze. Inviting everything to go inwards. Offering yourself that little bit of time for reflection and time to be just here in your sacred space. And whenever you feel ready to release it, releasing. Come back to center. So we're going to mirror that twist to the other side, whichever twist you decided to take. If you're with cat's got its tail, straighten out your right leg, left knee bent, draw your left knee across. Once you're here, bend your right knee, reaching for that right foot with your left hand. And depending on how your hamstring feels today, you can either keep that left knee bent or extend your left leg out. Turn your gaze, looking over your left shoulder. Hmm. Have a little check in with your body here, keeping this line of communication open. Is your body chatting to you? Do you feel nice and awake, nice and open? Giving yourself this time to Enjoy these last few minutes in this peaceful, sacred space that you've created just for yourself. Feeling those moments to go inwards without judgment, listening to your own truth. And gently releasing that twist. Come back into the center. Hugging your knees, having a little rock from side to side. And however you feel you'd like to move next, you can either take another pose if you feel the need to do happy baby or something like that. If you feel okay to move into Shavasana, extending out your legs, coming into your Starfish position, ready for Shavasana. Softening your gaze, closing down your eyes. 
If today it feels more like a, a seated position and you'd rather sit in meditation, listening to your own truth, trusting your own journey, whenever you feel ready to be in a relaxed position, taking a breath in through your nose, out through your mouth, releasing, letting go. One more, breathing in, breathing out. Keeping your eyes softly closed, allowing the sensation of still being inwards, keeping this sacred space, but feeling out some little gentle movements in your fingers, your hands, in your toes, in your feet. Maybe having a stretch. Hugging your knees in towards your body as you do, feeling as if you're giving yourself a little hug. Connecting inwards. And in your own time, whenever you feel ready, choosing to either roll to the side. If you're rolling to the side, don't be in a hurry, just take your time to come up. And then whenever you feel like it's the right place for you to come into a seated position, <clears throat> preparing, bringing your arms together, connecting your thumbs into your heart, softening your gaze, closing down your eyes, feeling that on that vibration of the universe, Feeling it go through your body, from your heart down into the earth. Sending that vibration out into the world with the first one. The second one, sending it towards anybody in your family or your friends. And the last one, sharing it with everyone you've been practicing with. Breathing to prepare.
Feeling this connection of the sound of your own on, that sound of your own vibration. Staying inward for a few moments longer, offering a bow inwardly to your own inner teacher, your own inner guru. And when